What's up everybody, welcome to We Do Tech. So one of my previous videos was about how to start Bitcoin mining with Nighthash and a lot of people did actually start mining. So how Nighthash works is it mines different coins and then pays you out in Bitcoins. But not everybody wants to mine just Bitcoins. They want to mine Ethereum, Zcash, Pascal. There's a lot of different coins out there. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to mine Ethereum. Ethereum is one of the most popular coins at the moment. It's very easy to mine. All you need to have is like a gaming PC or even a dedicated miner. And then all you, else you need is a Ethereum wallet. So if you don't have one, I'll leave a link in the description for you to go and create one it's very easy and then all you need to have is your ethereum address and that's it so let's get on to the video do you live in south africa and want to get yourself some awesome new gaming products well check out rebel tech they have extremely low prices and they stock all the major brands like asus msi gigabyte corsair and many more you can check out some of the new products they got in from g skill and cougar gaming so visit rebeltech.co.za to get the products you're looking for at a low price. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do is create your Ethereum wallet. So there's a bunch of wallets out there that you can use. At the moment, I'm just going to use the Jax wallet. So the nice thing about the Jax wallet is that there's a few different ones, uh, wallets you can actually create. So you can store Bitcoins, Ethereum, Dashcoins, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Zcash. So a lot of different ones. So I already have a Bitcoin, Ethereum and Zcash one. So all you do is you just get your Ethereum wallet um, address. So you just copy that so you know you have it. After that, you go to nanopool.org. So we're going to uh, mine on the nanopool pool. So uh, once you're here, I'll also I'll leave all the links in the description for you to actually go and check out. So uh, once you're here, just go on to the Ethereum quick start. You're going to download uh, the claim or deal miner. So let's quickly go on that. Okay, so once you're here, you just save it. Um, I already did, it's on my desktop. So once that's done, uh, you can create a folder, put it into a folder and extract it. So I already did all of that. So once it's here, you just scroll down to um, start only ether. So for this video, I'm only gonna mine Ethereum. Uh, you can also dual mine Pascal uh, or Decree and everything. But for this video, just only Ether. So um, once you're here, just uh, right click on the start only Ether and then say edit. And once you're here, you just add in your uh, wallet address over here. So you can also add a worker name if you want to. So I'm just going to take Ryzen 1. I spelled that wrong. Ryzen 1 and uh, email address as well if you want to. Uh, it'll just send you like notifications and everything for with uh, your email address. So once that's done, you can just save, exit and save, and then start. Okay, so while the miner is going, I just really want to show you guys the readme file uh, where the dual Ethereum miner has a few additional features. So you do have some command line options as well if you want to uh, use the different commands so you can do that if you want to you also have let's quickly scroll down where you have your dual mining so you can go on different pools so the ethereum pool which is then going to mine uh, ethereum and Sycoin. you can mine ethereum and decree as well so up there so there's a few different ones you can go on if you want to you can use the supernova uh, as well and mine Sycoin. so but we're mostly focusing on the the single mining of ethereum so like i said we're mining on the nano pool if you want to you can mine on the eth pool the f2 pool you can mine with nice hash uh, or you can even mine solo although i wouldn't really recommend it because it's going to take forever to actually make anything so if you want to change up you can just copy the entire section here and then paste it in uh, at the bat folder so just like we did with the nano pool one so it's pretty straightforward if you want to change pools you can just do it like that 
Okay, so at the moment we're getting about 18 mega hashes a second. So it's ranging between 18.2, 18.1, around there. So if you actually want to see how much that is worth in like dollars, you can go to CryptoCompare.com where they have a mining calculator, which I'll also link in the description for you to see how much you're actually making. So let's quickly take in our hash rate. Let's just take $18.00. And if we do not do not pay electricity, we make about $3.30 uh, per day. So for a month, you'll get about $100. But now if you have to pay electricity, it does go up a bit. So I know my 1060 uses about 120 watts. So I'm getting about $3 a day with my 1060. So it's not bad, but you can get more. So let's quickly see if I, when I overclock my GPU, how much I get then. Okay, so this is my overclocking profile. So this is mostly my gaming one. I don't uh, really want to push it that far because it's, I'm not going to use it the, like 24 seven. This is just for now. So if, with my overclock, I'm putting an extra 100 megahertz on the core and 400 megahertz on the memory clock. So that's relatively good enough. So if I boost that, like I said, we're getting about 18.4, 18.2, so around there. So already it went up to 20 mega hashes a second. So let's give it some time and see what I get. Okay, so it looks like I'm getting about 20 mega hashes a second. So let's quickly see how much that is in dollars. So instead of the 18, let's take 20 still take the electricity so we're getting about three dollars forty at the moment so it's about a 40 cent increase so which isn't bad so if you want to you can overclock to get that extra bit out um let's quickly check how much if you don't buy the electricity it's about three dollars seventy so not a big difference but yeah, that's pretty much how much you would make. I know some people get about 22 uh, mega a second with their 1060s if they do a big overclock. So then you would get about $4, which, which is pretty good. But yeah, like I said, this is my gaming overclock. It's not a heavy overclock for mining. So my temperature is still pr relatively good with my compared to my fan speed. So you can push it a lot more if you want to. But remember, if you're going to mine it for 24-7, it is going to put a lot of strain on your GPU. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm just quickly going to stop the miner at the moment because it's really draining my system. The recording is struggling to record. So, uh, like I said, I'm getting about 18 mega hashes on stock and about 20 when overclock when overclocked a little. So, if you actually want to see if everything is working, you can go to eth.nanopool.org. So, I'll leave a link in the description for this as well. Then, here you just add in your uh, Ethereum wallet address and just search for it. And it'll pick up your, uh, your, your account and what's currently mining. So, current hash rate was uh, 17 so it's not going to be exactly right you have to leave leave it to mine for like uh, two hours or so for it to actually uh, balance out so you can see actually it was ryzen 1 which it was and then it was about 17 18 mega hashes a second so here you can see the graphs when it started and how much you were making and everything your balance um, like I said, your current hash rate, your average hash rate over the last six hours, and then the reported hash rate, which it actually was. So you also have a minimum payout of 0 0.2 Ethereum, but you can change that. You can change that to 0 0.05 if you want to, or even to 20. So once it reaches that, it'll pay out into your, your wallet. So it's pretty simple. Uh, everything is here for you. Just something to keep in mind is that the DAG file is increasing every 45 days or so. So that can be a problem if you have a weaker GPU. So if you have a, let's say a three gig 1060 or so, uh, the DAG file is gonna increase and you're really gonna struggle. So there was calculations with the with the next DAG increase that a lot of the like the 970s and 980s, all the 900 series cards are really gonna get a heavy drop in hash rates. 
so uh, even with some of them it's dramatic like five uh, five megas a second drop so just be careful of that if you do not have a, like a six gig card or a four gig card even you're probably going to have to look at something else uh, because the Ethereum is not going to be worth it anymore. So you can look at something like Zcash if you want to. Uh, I did make a video on Zcash, so you can go and check that out. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Also, like I said, I did make a video on how to mine Bitcoins. For me, it's the easiest and the most profitable at the moment. So I'll leave a link in the description for you uh, for the video, how to mine Bitcoins. Also, I did make a video on how to mine Zcash with your CPU, your NVIDIA graphics card, your AMD graphics card, and also then how to mine Ethereum with your graphics card. So all of the videos will be linked in the description below. And if you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll try to answer you as best as I can. And if you do have another coin you would like me to make a video on or literally anything else about like crypto mining, please let me know in the comments. Uh, like I said, I'll try to do it as best as I can. But anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll check you guys next time. Cheers guys.